After watching Spurs get beaten pretty funnily by Ghent in the Europa League and getting kicked out by them, it gives me this thought, what's the point of Spurs? First up, look at your badge. It's a cock. Enough said. It took Spurs a good few years until they can finally get back in Champions League. So, I was really, really curious to see how they were, you know, when they finally made it in the Champions League after Gunnar Zaldong. So, how exactly did they do? And Hugo Lloris, even at full stretch, couldn't stop the ball from nestling into the corner of the net. And he buried the chance. First to react. This reverses it back past Lloris. I think Bayer Leverkusen has deserved this. They've been the better team by quite some way. And it was a... He's beaten wings on. Ends up! It's a great delivery in it! But... I just think he should be helped out as well. He's just conceded. And they've just turned it round Monaco. Super... Fair enough. So then, out of the Champions League. Um, not so bad really if you think about it. I mean, they're back to fill the surroundings in the Europa League. So hopefully, hopefully, they should be able to win that sort of game. I mean, they're against some team that are not exactly that well known. I mean, they're a team that usually everyone beats in those sort of competitions. I mean, the thing is, can Spurs actually do it? That is the question. Can they actually do it? Look how tense this is. Come on, Spurs, you can do it. I don't know any of these players actually playing for Gents. Do you know any of these people? I don't. Oh, no, let's say you're about to do something. They want to run. They want to run. Are they going to score a goal? Are they going to score a goal? Yeah! Oh, my God, Spurs have actually scored. Hopefully, they can probably win this game. They can hopefully win this game. Oh, okay, Spurs are back in it. Spurs are back in it. They could probably do it now. They could probably win the game. They could probably go through this next round. Are they going to Never mind. How the hell did Spurs manage to lose their position last season? I mean, it was pretty much a two false rates between Spurs and Leicester. And for the first time in a very, very, very long time, Spurs could have possibly beat Arsenal position-wise. You know, they could be one ahead of Arsenal for the first time in, like, I think, 50 years, whatever. But then they still managed to Spurs it up. Typical Spurs, mate. You make fun of Arsenal for not winning the trophy and going on sale on, but when was the last time you lot have actually won this trophy yourselves? I mean, I'll be honest with you, no one really gives a crap about Spurs. I mean, out of the top six, who really gives a shit about Spurs? And I made fun of Arsenal before about them being so bad in the Champions League, but then again, though, at one point, Arsenal were actually in a Champions League final. I don't remember any finals that Spurs have actually been European wise in recent years. And for any Spurs fans to say that they've finally made it in the top four last season and they're going to progress further on to that. The only reason why Spurs only made where they were last season is simply because everyone else was playing shit. Yeah, enough said. That's why Leicester won the league, because everyone else was shit last season. If Spurs fans think that their team is a big, big team, they're deluded. I mean, I found this audio where even Robbie Savage, of all people, actually disses a Spurs fan. This is just gold, yeah, you got to listen to this. And um, first of all, I'm going to answer to that Chelsea fan who claims that we're not, we're not a big club. I would like to say to him, Chelsea are not a big club. They've only won the lottery with Abramovich in, 19, in 2003. And second of all, what I would like to say is, I would like to congratulate the whole of Tottenham despite today's result. We have been the best team this season. Every time we've beaten teams, we've blown them away. We, I mean, they still won the league, but come on, they've only beaten teams 1-0, 1-0, 1-0, 1-0, 1-0. Hussein, Hussein, Hussein stop, st stop talking absolute nonsense. You've not been the best no, team. You've finished, you finished third. Leicester, Leicester have won the league by 10 points, but you're saying you've been the best team. Nonsense. We have been the best absolute team. Absolute nonsense. That is true. That is the it's not true. You finished third. You bottled it towards that, the end of the season. You finished. It, you it, just got hammered five one at Newcastle. Well, without without Deli Ali, without Dembele, we've had our midfield ripped apart. Well, Leicester now, went to Leicester went to Old Trafford without Jamie Vardy. Didn't get beat. You've you've been hammered by Newcastle. You're not the best team. You're the third best Leicester team in the country. Like. Go go back to the, go back to the game at White Hart Lane when the two met. Leicester were getting Leicester beat you 1-0, Robert Hoofheader. They beat us 1-0, but they, they, yeah. were, they, they bat got lucky. Listen, they, they, should, were, they should be 3-4 or four down. They're 11 they, points they, clearer they, than you. They battered they, you. That, that, 11 that points. That shows how lucky they are. <laughs> 11 points, but lucky. They run through Riyad Mahrez. If Mahrez had got injured, where would they have been? It doesn't matter, he didn't. So I, I think they were one, they're a one-man team. One-man team, what, Mahrez, Vardy, Morgan, Hoof, Schmeichel, Drinkwater, Kante... <laughs> <laughs> Who's saying? You're clutching at straws. They've battered you. I don't see most of those as players. The most of that team ran through Mahrez. 
And if Mario's weren't there, Leicester wouldn't tick. Hussein, they've 11 points clear. You're not the first best team in the country, the second best team in the country. You're the third best. See you next season, Hussein. And that'll do. I've got nothing wrong, Spurs. This is all for Bance as usual. If you like this video, then please like, subscribe, and peace. And yeah, see you next time. Before you leave, though, you've got to give this guy an applause.